if you're unfamiliar with Alter Bridge, it's Creed with a different singer. Miles Kennedy fronts the band. The other guys came out of Creed. And they do a good job, boy. They bring the riffs every single time. They bring in Seven Dust and Mammoth WVH with them. It's Wolfie Van Halen's band. It's going to go down Tuesday, August 8th at Jacob's Pavilion, AXS.com. Has whatever details I might have left out. Car 10, these tickets are yours. Two for Alter Bridge and company. Good luck. 216-578-1007 or 800-348-1007. Alan Cox. He had angel hair pasta for lunch today. And it was totally worth all those bald little angels. 100.7 100.7 WMMS Guardians baseball tonight. They are on the West Coast. First of three against the Padres of San Diego. 940 is the first pitch tonight. 910 is when your pregame will begin. Hammy and Rosie and the whole Hee Haw Gang. So tonight, 9.40 on MMS and on the iHeartRadio app. And uh, first of three. Guardians and Padres are currently pretty well matched. Um, Padres are, of course, in a different situation in their division. But not really. Not too much. Both teams are 31 and 34. So, Guardians baseball, late night tonight here on The Buzzard. And in June, use the promo code, what is it, Summer? Yeah. Summer for 20% off, whatever you want to get over at CLE Clothing Company. Whether you want to do it online, whether you want to do it in the store, just use Summer, and they'll take 20% right off the top. If you're trying to get one of those keys that might start up The Buzzard bike, I will have today's for you because they do move around. Uh, today's is going to be uh, right around 510. We're giving away a brand new 2022 custom Harley uh, fit for the buzzard. Be wrapped specifically for you. And there's a shot that you can win that bike. Rover's got keys. Stansbury's got them. I have them. Different times every single day. It's courtesy of Budweiser and WMMS. So 510 is when I'll have the next buzzard bike key for you and then 5 30 is going to be the last uh, trip to vegas for the iheart radio music festival before those tickets go on sale tomorrow so this will kind of be the last get your trip before everybody else gets in on it type thing foo fighters the big headliner for the festival this year fallout boy 30 seconds to mars public enemy lenny kravitz so 5 30 that next vegas trip but they nailed down that new browns logo And everybody's got their hot takes on it. Uh, They put it out there that they were looking for artists or civilians or whatever to come up with a brand new dog logo. And an artist by the name of Houston Mark created a logo and somebody was breaking it all down because there's all... You've seen the logo, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's all these Easter eggs in it. All these little nods uh, to things in and around Northeast Ohio and the Browns. So there's like a mark in one of the ears that's supposed to represent Ohio. And the stripe down the forehead is supposed to represent the helmet stripe. And the part of the mouth is supposed to represent the Guardian Bridge. Okay. Boy, they really love that bridge. Did really? You see it? Yeah. Have you seen the breakdown of it? Um, no, I haven't seen the breakdown. I saw but the I'm breakdown. Looking yeah. At it, yeah, on like the, the, on the logo. live stream here, they, they kind of. I break it all out for oh, you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and you can see it when they do it. They're, they're like, oh, this me- the East End Zone, and this is supposed to represent the football, like the part of the nose, and, you know. So this is the one that they picked. And, again, if you got in early on all of the different kinds of logos that people had uh, submitted, some of them were more cartoony to the, than others. Some of them, you know, had a lot of uh, clean lines. This one's okay. It's fine. There were other ones I liked better. Uh, what does this guy get for this? Did they buy this from him? I don't I'm think sure he they, gets anything. He get paid. I don't think so. Because they don't give Pants him a cut and of I merch. Were talking about this yesterday. Pants submitted one, right? No, because because I don't think you get paid. I think it's like for the you love win of the game a contest, and they go, "Hey, Exposure. thanks." So it's it's one of those things where it's like 
I'm sure he'll be able to use this to get more like gigs and stuff like something? that. But he lives in Houston. No, no his one. name is no, his Houston. His name is Houston Mark. No, no, he but he is from Texas. Oh. Or or does is his is his uh, He's a graphic designer. He just saw a contest and put it in there. I, I don't see. Oh. He doesn't have I don't think he's like a brown Or does fan. he just call himself Houston Mark? I thought the name was Houston Mark. Well, anyway. Okay, so he doesn't live here. As um, far as I know, I don't think yeah. he does. Well, listen, once the call goes out to graphic designers, they probably all jumped in. I mean, there and this are This guy was among them. There are those uh yeah, he's in Denton, Texas. Okay. So there there are plenty of people that throw their hats in, but, you know, a guy that I respect is Pants, and he's an artist, and he doesn't do stuff like this because it's, you know, they're as far as I know, they didn't compensate him in any way. Exposure doesn't pay the bills. Right. So I'm sure he'll get other gigs from this, but they didn't really even mention him. Like, the Browns didn't say, like, hey. Thank you to Thanks Houston to Mark. Houston Mark. It was just, like. This is our new logo. This is the one you guys voted for, which is fine. Like it's it's a fine logo, but I'm more annoyed by the uh, like give them you know a few grand. Well, then all the Easter or eggs. Give them give them all these different. Give them give them a percentage of the sales or something. You know, compensate them. Well, then all the Easter eggs in the logo make sense if it was somebody who basically looked at the Wikipedia page for the Cleveland Browns. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the Guardian Bridge, the helmet, stripe, whatever. Um, yeah, I didn't know the specifics of of how they were compensated. I thought maybe they would like give them like a flat fee. It's got a uh, one of the little Easter eggs in there is a guitar pick because of course why pound cake. I'm so sorry, I couldn't hear you. Why a guitar pick in the new Browns dog logo? I don't know why. Why would there be a guitar pick in the Cleveland Browns dog logo? What's the reason that tourists come to Cleveland, Ohio? What's oh, our Statue rock- of Liberty? The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I was like, <laughs> what, what am I missing? <laughs> what are you missing? Yeah, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. We are the birthplace of rock and roll. No. I thought that was Detroit. No. no. Uh, there's there's rock city half there? a dozen cities lay claim to the birth of rock and roll. Well, th- Cleveland raised enough money to get the rock hall here, and it's political, and you can make a case for a whole bunch of cities being. Well, there, there are all kinds of cities that wanted the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Well, they say us, we're the workplace of rock and roll because of Alan Freed and WMS. Because, but- not WMMS, because the Moon Dog Ball is considered the first big rock concert. And, then- and that was Alan Freed. Motown is more of like rhythm and blues it's more r&b and that was detroit so that well was- jokes on them because half the people going into the rock hall now are r&b and rap artists so there were so many good logos that got submitted uh, this is a dream come true said houston mark to see my logo in an nfl stadium on people's shirts is the most incredible feeling they had to have compensated him somehow I mean, you're not really going to get – I don't know how much exposure you're going to get if your name isn't attached to it publicly. Yeah, I don't – that's what – I mean, his name's mentioned in the article and stuff like that, but they didn't tag him on Twitter. Uh, I I just DM'd him to see if he'll call in so we can see if he did get compensated. So his name is Houston. He doesn't just call himself Houston, Mark. His name is Houston. I don't know. Yeah. He's a graphic designer for a company in North Texas. Uh, So congratulations to him. Also, a little bit further east, uh, Al Marcinek is one of our bureau chiefs. He listens to the show in Carleton, Pennsylvania, and he runs Marcinek Farms out there. I think I sent you the email, didn't I, Cody? Yes, you did. Mary was gone when I announced, because I didn't get to it before she left, that uh, Terry the goat had two kids. Hey, more children. Because didn't he name one after you? Yeah, Mayor the Goat. Mayor the Goat. Mm-hmm. Uh, Terry the goat, who has been picking uh, NFL games for us the last few seasons, uh, week to week, giving uh, of her time and her talents, had two kids. And when he uh, emailed me about a week and a half ago at, to give me the uh, 
the news of the blessed event, I was curious what the names were, and he said uh, that he was going to name them Cody and Wilhelmina. Yes. Mm. He said, please ask Poundcake if he wants a mug, and I will send one to him. And I said, hells yeah. I said, hells yeah. So um, uh, Mary has a goat named after her. Mm-hmm. Poundcake has a goat named after him. And uh, Bill Squire, Alan Cox, just watching, just hanging out, not bothering anybody. No livestock bearing our names, but that's fine. We do it for the love of the game. I'm fine without a goat named after me. What? That's a lie. How I want a goat. I want a little a Billy goat. goat. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> say, how can you be fine yeah. with that? I can't be. I tried to hide it, but I can't be. I there. <laughs> A billy goat? Come on. Yes. You can lie to yourself. You can't lie to us. A billy goat, Cody and Wilhelmina. We haven't heard from Wilhelmina in months. GameStop was just like their escape goat, I guess. (laughs) Still one of my favorites. (laughs) Ah, he sighs. Just exasperated. Alan, you were talking about how Johnny Depp was not going to return unless he got paid. Guess what? He got paid. Johnny Depp is returning to the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise on a rumored $300 million deal. Wait, what? So if anybody wonders... How many films? 47 films. That makes a lot more sense. Is that a lot? I mean, this could be like a Hollywood rag or something that's just throwing clickbait out. But uh, um, if, if anybody had any guess whatsoever as to how pop culture would treat Johnny Depp and or Amber Heard after all that Michigas, uh, it should come as no surprise that this is how it uh, kind of laid out. Amber Heard finally paid Johnny Depp that million dollars that she owed him. A million dollars that uh, was uh, worth a lot more to her than him. He said he's going to donate it to a number of charities because he doesn't really need it. Uh, But Amber Heard um, has moved to Spain. She's been living there for a while with her child. Is that Elon Musk's kid? Who's Who's Amber Heard's baby daddy? It's not Elon Musk, is it? I don't know. Hmm. And so people, you know, who, um, whether or not you think that Amber Heard pooped on his pillow or whether or not you think that he was smacking her around, things were always probably going to work out for Johnny Depp. And uh, Disney has said that there's just too much potential box office to let these movies go. You know, Tom Cruise, who's no spring chicken, he's still cranking out those Mission Impossible and Top Gun movies. And obviously his work ethic is unparalleled. So the studios look at this and go, look, these are guy, these are bankable movie stars still in an age where you're desperate. Because, like, the age of the movie star is largely over, like, in the classic sense. So if you have a Tom Cruise, if you have a Johnny Depp, people that enough people remember in that capacity, you go, yeah, make another one. I think that's probably a clickbait article. I don't think there's any way in hell they are paying him $300 million to do anything. Because they sure as hell ain't going to make five of these movies. I've only seen one of them. But I don't know how many there are. How many are there? Uh, I think there's five now. Um, There's Curse of the Black Pearl, which is the first one. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then I think the second one is... That, which was the one with the squid face guy? That's the third one. No, hmm. that's the second one. The okay. second Why can't one. I think of the name of it? I know all of them. Hold on. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Dead Did Man's we... Chest? No, Dead Man's Chest is the third one, I thought. No, second one is Dead Man's Chest. Third one is um, At World's End. Mm-hmm. Okay. Fourth one is Fountain of Youth. On Stranger Tides. On Stranger Tides. And then the fourth one's the, or the fifth one's the fountain one. Dead with Men Selma. Tell No Tales. Which one's the fountain one? The on Stranger Tides. Oh, I didn't know the name of it. I haven't Jesus, seen Jesus, they've made a lot of these. Yeah. I only saw the first three, to be honest with you. I only saw the first one, and I thought it I, stunk. I saw them all in there. I, good I, movies, I thought. Uh, the first one is fun, the first it's a one, good story. The first one rules. Yeah. I love the first one. The second and third one, there's diminishing returns. There's some fun moments, but 
it's not I mean like especially in the third one you don't even get Johnny Depp's character to like 50 minutes into the movie but that's the point I know but I don't care about Orlando Bloom <laughs> right or Jeffrey Rush right yeah you know, Kira Knightley's cute right she all knows yeah, she's, she's yeah. yeah all right She's no Penelope Nellie Portman, but she's close. Penelope Cruz. Close enough. Hey, Rob. Yes. Robert. Hello. hello. What's going hello. on, Rob? So I want to talk about the dog logo. Yeah. So I was in the contest to finish number 19. Very proud moment. Oh, nice. good um, for you. <laughs> anyway, the winner of that contest I think was put up against three ringers, three professional designs. And the winner of the contest just won some tickets and like a prize package or whatnot, but then went up against three other logos. The one that won was actually a professional, my understanding. So I don't believe those were in the original contest. Are you a graphic designer by trade, Rob? I was. Yeah, yes, so I worked for a, a certain greeting card company in town. <laughs> Haitian greetings, am I pronouncing that properly? Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> Nailed it, yeah. Okay. Um, and and, and is, had you won, uh, would that have been, um, uh, uh, there's no situation that precludes you from doing side work, or would you had, uh, have had to have looped them in in some capacity? See, I don't know. I don't know if, I didn't get to that point, so yeah. I don't know if there was a contract or whatnot, but... As I said, the winner just won some tickets to the to a football game, and again, a signed jersey and whatnot. So, so I'm assuming the per person who actually won the the contest is going to be compensated probably quite well. I mean, with all the merchandising. Right. Well, I'm sorry yeah. for your loss, Rob, but uh, uh, thank you for your contribution. Oh, very good. Like I said, I was I love your show. I was listening. Like I got to call on this one because, as I said, oh, um, I think they got some good for bucks you. for this one. <laughs> right. Okay. All right. Thank you, Rob. I appreciate you listening. I appreciate your contribution to the dog logo. That's D A W G. By the way, and boy, that's got to suck for the people too who submitted a D O G logo. Or D O G G. Yes. They misunderstood the assignment, and they got that, oh, boy, they got that bloodless form letter back. <laughs> Dear insert name here, we regret to inform you that your dog logo cannot be considered for the Cleveland Browns organization. We thank you for your blah, 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 but who cares because you didn't do what we told you to do. Next time, better luck drawing a mammal 